It is Monday, and you know what happens on Mondays. We brag about South Florida schools, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Today, we're featuring Miami at Miramar High School. They are the home of the Patriots, and they've got a whole lot to brag about with a lot of popular programs on tap there. My co-anchor, Shelly Munoz, is at that school on campus right now to give us a better idea of what makes them so great. Hi there, Shelly. Hey, Eric, and we really didn't have to go very far from this studio, just down the street to find here Miramar High School. And they are so proud about their programs, and they have incredible school spirit here. So I'm joined by Maria Formosa, the principal. Thank you so much for having us Thank here. You for and tell me a little bit about what makes a school so special. We love talking about schools every Monday, and we're here lucky to be in y'all's presence today. Well, we have amazing programs here at Miramar High School. Uh, we're the only school that offers dual enrollment through Emory Riddle. We have 11 different on-campus options. Our students don't even have to leave our campus in order to participate in dual enrollment. We also have the only criminal justice program in the county that's fully funded by the city. So the city of Miramar definitely invests in Miramar High School. We're so proud of that. Uh, we also started a health and wellness program, so we're in our second year. Uh, and we also have a Mentoring Tomorrow's Leaders program. So we really make sure that all of our students are successful while they're here in high school. And if we can, I want to show this group of uh, students here, 2,500 school students here have here at the school. But you wanted to highlight these particular students. Why? Well, part of the student body here, we have our vocational representatives. We also have our Mentoring Tomorrow's okay. Leaders. And we have our athletes, of course. Very our nice. student body is really what makes Miramar High School. I have the most amazing student leaders on this campus. And they're also competing in Orlando. You have a group who just came back from Orlando very early this morning. Yeah. No excuse for no not being here, right? 2 a.m. We're all exhausted. We're all yeah. exhausted. She just got back. So that is where Ari Osler joins us now with the cheerleading team. All right, take it away. They just got back very early in the morning. We know what those early mornings are like. <laughs> Yeah, they got in around 2 a.m., Shelly, but they finished 10th in the nation. We're going to hear from this fine group of cheerleaders in just a couple of minutes. But I'm standing with John Lamb, who is the MAGNA coordinator here at the school. Talk to me about these different programs you have and what the kids get out of them. Well, we've actually got two MAGNA programs here. We have the aviation program, which is a really exciting program that um, and now is a partnership with Embry-Riddle University. Oh, and Sanjay over there is going to fly one of the drones from the aviation program right now as we speak. So that's going to buzz us around. Don't get nervous, girls. Apparently, he's a really good pilot. We'll see how that goes as we talk here. So you got the aviation program. You have an IB program as well. Yes, we have the international baccalaureate program. We have the largest international baccalaureate program in the county. Um, we have sent students throughout uh, the country to some of the best universities, the Ivy League schools. We have the West Coast, Stanford, Berkeley, uh, Midwest, Chicago, Northwestern. Um, our students have accomplished some everywhere. things. Everywhere. Yes, everywhere. We have also got a criminal justice program, which is interesting. We have a criminal justice program. We have a a, a, a health magnet. A health, a, a I'm health getting nervous. That drone is really close. <laughs> <laughs> we have a health a health science program. Um, we also have um, a dual enrollment business program, and we have a, um, an academy foundation with um, uh, computers and coding. So we have quite a few things going on. For a lot of stuff going on at Miramar High School. There's a lot hey, the top ten cheerleaders. You want to hear from these girls? Absolutely. Let's hear from them. All right. Take it away. We are Miramar. We are Top ten in the nation. They actually finished tenth in the competition this weekend in Orlando. And they're making the Patriots proud here. Super Bowl yeah. champion worthy, if you ask me. Back to you guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Moore, and I'm a high school senior here at Miramar High School. I am a part of many organizations here on campus. I'm in the Miramar Soldier Band, and I actually end the drum line. I'm in our poetry club in our SGA, which is our Student Government Association. I am actually an editor at our school's yearbook, and I was a DECA member for some time and was even a vice president of one of the mar many marketing classes that we offer here at Midmar. Uh, my story is, personally, me, I came only one year ago from Haiti, and I can't describe how wonderful of an experience it has been for me. 
Um, to me, Miramar represented and still represent a place full of opportunities and where you can where you can achieve your full potential. I value my relationship with the staff here very much because they have done a very wonderful job to help me integrate. I would like to give a special shout out to Ms. Permuso, our principal, who has always been so available to help me and I'm sure she will be available to help you. She has been so encouraging and so sweet and I really hope you can um, benefit from a relationship like that. It will take me so much more time to tell you all about Miramar and what it's about, but I only have one minute. So I really hope you have a wonderful year and that you stay safe. Hello, hola, alo, bonjour, ni hao, namaste. Welcome to Miramar High, home of the Patriots and your new home. My name is Miss Bergeron and I am the proud ninth grade assistant principal. It is my honor to welcome you in this virtual format to the Patriot family. Usually our annual orientations are filled with our state ranked cheerleaders greeting you as you walk towards the gym, followed by our superior ranked soldier band from Patriot Land and also our honors distinguished uh, JROTC battalions presentation of colors and the warm smiles of our staff, student leaders and scholar athletes. But isn't life always full of challenges? with obstacles faced before you. At Miramar High, you will never face a challenge alone because you have your Patriot family to back you up, cheer you on, and lend a listening ear. Who makes this Patriot family up, you ask? Great question. Your Patriot family consists of teachers, counselors, deans, administrators, staff, campus monitors, coaches, club sponsors, school resource officers, and your classmates. Count on your new family to be by your side through graduation, and only then you will be equipped and ready to take on the world with Patriot pride. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Here at Miramar, you will learn the essential skills and attributes necessary to be successful in the 21st century. My question to you, how will you build on this power during your years at Miramar High? In this presentation, you will hear from faculty and students on how we bleed red, white, and blue, and what it takes to graduate and make your high school years the best experience yet. Let's embark on this journey together full of self-discovery, self-determination, and self-actualization through the art of learning and getting involved. Let's get excited for the new school year. Go Patriots! Good morning, my name is Maya Bola and I am an International Baccarat Senior at Miramar High School. I've been attending Miramar High since ninth grade and I was the Miramar High's Vice President for the Decca Chapter and currently the President for National Honor Society here at Miramar High. A high school should allow a student to feel academically secure and represent who they aspire to be while also having a supportive background. The administration and faculty here fulfill that need by offering students guidance through the difficulties that they will go through in high school. This guidance would not be available if it wasn't for our lady patriot, Mrs. Formoso. Mrs. Formoso works endlessly and tirelessly to bring the most finest programs to Miramar High to enhance her student to the greatest degree academically, physically, and mentally. She has opened many doors for many, many, many members of the Patriot family, and we are forever in debt to her. It is my honor to introduce to you our lady leader of the Patriot family, Mrs. Formoso.
Hi Patriots, it's your new principal, Miss Formoso, coming to you from Miramar High School. So happy to welcome you to the new school year. In case you didn't know, Miramar High School has the largest international baccalaureate program in the district, and we also have an aviation program where you can earn over 80 credit hours in college credit. And part of that comes from Embry-Riddle, which actually costs $60,000 a year to attend. We also have 14 different vocational tracks, which are career and technical education courses, everything from floral design to fashion marketing. We have a health and wellness program, and we have the first and only program that was fully funded by the city of Miramar Police Department. So our students here do participate in a full law enforcement program as well. We're so excited because our students graduate with numerous industry certifications. Actually, last school year, we had over 400 industry certifications just for our seniors alone. And we had the largest number of scholarships for in the entire district. So we had actually over $15 million in scholarships that our students were able to earn. We also have everything you can think of from sports. We have track. We have football, we have basketball, we have soccer, boys and girls, volleyball, swimming, the list goes on and on. Actually, I'm wearing my pendant because last school year was the first school year in school history where our boys basketball team actually won the state championship and we were so excited for that. We also have numerous clubs and organizations. We have National Honor Society, we have student government. And if we don't have the club here that you want, well, you can start one because we believe in giving our students a voice. We really believe in leadership here at Miramar High School. I say, if you want something done right, you give it to a Patriot. So Patriots, I encourage you to really take control of your education. I know we're not starting the school year in its traditional fashion, but e-learning will be a fantastic experience because at Miramar High School, we're gonna 100% provide you with the support that you need to be successful. I have two of my own boys at home and I don't want anything different from each of you than I want from my own children. I want you to grow up to be extremely successful adults and we're gonna help you every single step of the way. So I wish you an absolutely fantastic first school year here with us. Anything that you need, do not hesitate to reach out our motto for this school year is celebrating our diversity because at Miramar High School, we have a very diverse student population and we're so incredibly proud of that. So welcome to the new school year, Patriots. Hello, future Patriots. My name is Mr. Lamb. I'm the Magnet Coordinator here at Miramar High School. In my position, I serve as the International Baccalaureate Program Coordinator, and I'm one of the Advanced Placement Program Coordinators. As I mentioned, we have the International Baccalaureate Program, which is generally considered one of the top college preparatory programs in the world. We have students who are attending top universities throughout the United States, including most of the Ivy League schools, and universities as far west as Stanford, UCLA, and Cal Berkeley. In addition to the IB, we have 20 advanced placement classes where students can earn up to 60 credit hours, um, depending on how well they do on their exams at the end of the school year. What's really exciting right now that we have going on right now at Miramar High School is our dual enrollment program. We have the largest dual enrollment program in Broward County. We offer programs, classes through Broward College, FIU, Arizona State, and Howard. Um, in addition, we offer 24 credits through Embry-Riddle University and um, for in the field of aviation for students interested in the field of aviation. And for students interested in maintenance and aviation maintenance, we have a program through Broward College where they can actually earn industry certification and um, come right out of that position into a job that pays upward of $50,000 a year in the field of aviation maintenance. Students who choose to, do, to take the dual enrollment classes can earn up to 57 credits, almost an AA degree, in the classes through FIU, Arizona State, Howard, and BC. And then the additional 24 credits they earn in, at Embry-Riddle will get them uh, over 80 semester hours of credit before they even enter college. We have a lot of opportunity here at Miramar High School, and we encourage you to take advantage of it. One thing to keep in mind, the dual enrollment opportunities begin in 11th grade, so it's very important that you maintain a 3.0 grade point average in 9th and 10th grade in order to be eligible to take those classes. I look forward to seeing you at the start of the new school year, and good luck, everyone. 
Hey, I'm Stephanie Nawabi, and I'm an incoming senior at Miramar High School. I'm the Vice President of the National Honor Society, and I'm in the International Baccalaureate Program at school, and I would like to say that this program is nothing short of rewarding. Although IB has its challenges, I wouldn't have it any other way. Like all great programs, IB has a set of expectations. However, this is only set to make sure you have correct academic success. Three simple tips I can give you to obtain success are one, try to always be present. Missing class consistently will put you severely behind. Two, communicate with your teachers. These teachers are very understanding and they will try to make the best out of your situation. And three, do not procrastinate. This is easily avoidable and will help you in the future. In IB, you are groomed for greatness and held to a standard. Like I said before, it will benefit you in the future. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a rising senior. I'm in clubs like Mentoring Tomorrow's Leaders, I'm the National Honor Society Secretary, and I'm a Brace Cadet. And of course, I'm an IB. A lot of people have this common misconception that if you're an IB, then you're a bookworm, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Some of the most active students at school and in the community are IB students. You just have to learn how to manage your time wisely. We all have busy lives outside of school. Start by setting small goals for yourself, like turn in this assignment here or turn in that project early. You get out of IB what you put into it. So if you don't put in enough effort, then chances are you won't be as successful as you could be. Colleges like to see that students are taking the most rigorous classes that their school offers. Challenge yourself and you will reap the benefits. Good luck. I'm Jacob and I'm an IB student going into my senior year. My ninth and 10th grade year, I played basketball and volleyball. This last year, I ran cross country and became a part of the track team. I'm able to do all of these while maintaining a 5.0 GPA. While some might be intimidated by the rigors of the IB program, the truth is that as long as you manage yourself and your time, you'll be able to easily avoid stress. Despite being in extracurriculars and in IB, I've never stayed up past 11 doing work. And this isn't because I'm a perfect student, because I've done my fair share of procrastination, but I've always made sure that I finish my working time because it will allow me to have more free time. This isn't a program that requires you to do three, four, or five hours of studying a day. Rather, just challenge yourself and work hard. I know it's doable because others before me have done it, I'm doing it, and I know that you can do it too. Hello, future IB Patriots. My name is Syed Ali, and I'm an incoming senior in the IB program. I am the historian for the school's National Honor Society, have played basketball for the school, and I am ranked third in my respective class of 2021. D diving into what the IB program consists of, one thing I'd like to mention is that the IB program isn't for everyone. What separates the IB program from other schools' academic programs is that high talent or IQ isn't necessary to participate in IB. The main characteristic a student needs to thrive in the IB program is a strong will to continuously improve and to never give up no matter how rocky the road is to achieve one's goal. As the IB program is challenging, the classes are designed for the intent of pushing students to their limit. The skills acquired in IB classes are useful and can be applied towards the SAT, college admission essays, and real life situations. As the IB program is demanding, all the grueling work that the student puts in will pay off at the end. Hello to our incoming ninth grade students and their families. I am Mrs. Thompson, ninth grade school counselor here at Miramar High School, home of the Mighty Patriots. I'm excited about your new adventure into high school and I am here to assist you every step of the way. I know that this is not how you envision starting your high school experience, but we're going to remain optimistic and hopeful knowing this is only for a season, and soon we will be safely together in the halls of Miramar. Today, I want to discuss high school graduation requirements. Starting with English, you need four credits of English in order to graduate. Mathematics, you also need four credits, two of which being Algebra One and Geometry, both requiring a EOC, which is an end of course exam to, to pass. 
You also need three credits of science, one being biology, which also has an EOC attached. Social studies, you also, you will need three credits, one being world history, the next being US history, and then half a credit of US government and economics. Um, world languages is not a requirement for graduation. However, a minimum of two years is required of the same language for admission into most universities and some bright future scholarships. You also need one credit of a fine or performing art, speech, debate, or practical art. You will also need one credit of PE, um, which you will hear us refer to as HOPE. Um, but there are other options that you can um, use to meet that requirement, one being two years of junior or varsity sports, um, another being two years of JROTC and, and or two years of marching band. Um, you will also need eight credits of electives to graduate. And some additional things that you will need is to pass um, your 10th grade FSA, English, ELA. You will also need to complete one full course online, an online course. And you will also have to have a cumulative, cumulative unweighted GPA of a 2.0 on a 4.0 scale. You will also need 40 hours of community service. So right now, you know, we'll see what happens as the pandemic continues, but normally you definitely have to meet the 40 hour requirement for that. Um, there are other diploma designations like scholar designations, merit de designations, and there is also a 18 credit hour option. So that's just one area in which I will assist you. We also have social emotional learning that I'm here to assist you with. Um, there are lots of things going on in our world right now. We have one, like I've already stated, the pandemic. We've also had various social justice issues going on um, and it affects me and I'm an adult. So I know that many of you as young adults, young people growing up in all of this, you may be feeling lots of emotions and we're here to help you with that as well. Miramar does an amazing job of providing you with all of the needs. We, we meet the whole student, not just the academic portion of the student. And we can help you in-house. And if you need something further with professionals, we can assist you with that as well. But we're here for that also. The other career readiness, college readiness, we will assist you with Navience as well. And the best way to reach me right now will be through email. And I am Deshania, it's D-A-S-H-O-N-Y-A dot Thompson, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N at BrowardSchools.com. Um, and that will be the best way right now to reach me. And I, again, look forward to this year with you and I will again be with you every step of the way to help you and assist your families. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maxine Villaserna, class of 2021 and current president of Key Club at Miramar High. Since freshman year, I have been dedicated to both my club and the IB program, which is a combination that helped build my character. See, that's something special about Miramar High. There are tons of clubs and classes that you can choose from to help mold you into the kind of student you want to be. When I first signed up for classes, I knew that I wanted to challenge myself. So I signed up for the IB program. The rigor that came taught me responsibility and self-discipline, which was what I wanted. I encourage you to choose the classes that you want and what you feel most interested in. And I can say the same thing about clubs. In my club, Key Club, we focus on the community and earning volunteer hours. So while I trained my mind in the classroom, I trained my heart Aww. with my club as I learned how to care for others. That's the great thing about clubs and sports. You get to learn new things in an environment different from the classroom with people who share the same interests as you. So my advice to you is to pick the clubs and classes that you think would suit you best. And don't be afraid to change things up if you feel a calling somewhere else. Discover yourself in high school and good luck.
Hi, my name is Khalil Bruce, and I am a senior at Miramar High School. I am a member of both the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence Project and the Knights of Gold program. I also happen to be the president of our poetry club and the parliamentarian of our chapter of Mentoring Tomorrow's Leaders. One of the best things about Miramar is the people. Miramar is a melting pot of diverse cultures and interesting characters. The principal and the staff are more than just that. They're mentors and they're always someone to talk to. Now at Miramar, there's always something to do. Whether it be the pep rallies or the spirit week or the fundraisers and all the other events, there's always something to do. And that isn't the only thing buzzing with life. Our after school program includes the sports and the clubs, which range from the arts to band to chess to football. There's something for everyone. Welcome future patriots. How are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. All considering because uh, this virus is a little serious. It's actually very serious. Uh, but there are a couple of things that I need to talk about for your student athletes that are coming to Miramar High School and want to play some sports and want to get involved in activities. We have over 30, maybe 40 activities. So it's always good to be involved. It makes uh, it helps you break the ice in the sense that you're new to high school. It's most likely twice the size of the middle school you're coming from. And you get to meet people and it gets a little easier for you as you move along. Okay, but there's a couple of things that if you want to participate, uh, you have to have. You need to have a 2.0 GPA. That is the minimal. Of course, the higher the better. More, more scholarship opportunities. You have to have a sports physical. You need to have a current insurance um, and all this needs to be uploaded in Family ID, which we'll go over that in a minute. Okay, so, uh, and then of course you have no obligations. Okay, so that means if you're coming from middle school, you're coming from another school and you still have their books for some reason, you moved, uh, you forgot, please uh, communicate with the school that you're coming from uh, to return the books and make sure that they do give you some sort of receipt that you turn in your books or that you no longer have any obligations, okay? Now, on the family ID, and that's what we use to collect all the documents. I do not collect any paperwork anymore. So you go to familyid.com. And once you go to familyid.com, you make an account, uh, you select Miramar High School 2020-2021. Once you select that and you create your, your, your account, it's gonna ask you to upload your physical, to upload all the do necessary documents, your insurance card. Uh, make sure you, you upload both sides of your insurance card. And uh, it's also gonna uh, request that you do some coursework and please complete it and then you can upload the certificates. Once you complete the whole entire account, that you create it, then you click submit. And so I'm able to see it. If you don't click submit, I will not be able to see it. And then from there, I'll do my end to clear you, okay? And um, once once you, you complete uh, the account and I clear you and make sure that you've met all the necessary documents or you have all the necessary documents, now, uh, it's up to you to uh, participate or at least try out in any sport. Now, this year it looks like we're going to be doing e-learning. That means you're going to be home for I don't know how long. Uh, you know, it, it it could be a couple of weeks, it could be a quarter, it could be half a year. I'm not too sure. But Broward County is pushing really hard to have athletics. So I cannot explain in detail how that's gonna work because quite frankly, uh, not too many people know. And uh, so uh, we are expecting to have a fall league because that's the first sport in the school year. Don't know when, um, there's a lot of conversation going on and as soon as I know how we're gonna approach this, then I communicate with the coaches and some of the parents have reached out to me already. So until then, 
uh, you need to have all your documents ready because you do not want where we get the green light and then we don't, you're not ready to go, especially in the fall in, in, because the fall is kind of like, it's already about a couple of weeks behind. So as of right now, uh, it looks like August 24th is going to be the target date for Broward County to con to start conditioning. But uh, this is a fluid situation. So that means this could change uh, from one day to the other. Uh, hopefully, um, we can start it sooner than later. But I, I believe August 24th, it's a good shot that that day will be the day that, that we start. At least for the fall sports. Uh, the winter sports, we still have some time. Uh, but I'm, but it, once the fall starts, I do believe that winter is going to follow suit immediately. Um, so... In talking about uh, sports and athletics, uh, we received over two million dollars in scholarships last year. That's and the figure comes from the scholarships that our athletes received. You multiply by four, and you'll see that you know for the the athletes have that have done above and beyond in the classroom first and foremost, and then on the athletic field. Uh, this is the end result, is that you have the opportunity to, to go and continue your education. And the dream is, is for a lot of us to go pro. At least that's the dream and the hope. And, and for most of us, that's, that's what we're striving for. But at the end of the day, when you have the opportunity to go to school, you need to make the best of it. And I'm sure all of us do. Okay, so the future is now. I congratulate you for making that decision to come to Miramar High School, and I believe that your future will be secured here because uh, Miramar High School, it's like it's a family atmosphere, and you're going to have a lot of support here from everyone. Uh, and if you're a student athlete, and that's where I'm, um, that's my group of kids, uh, starting with me and my assistants, and then the head coaches and their assistants, and the counselors. You have a lot of individuals that have you your best interest at heart, making sure that you succeed and be the best that you can be, whatever that is. And, and, um, and then I wish you a lot of luck. Uh, my email address is mario.rodriguez at browerschools.com. You could email me at any time, uh, any questions, please feel free to email me uh, because if I don't have the answer, that you need, I'm gonna do everything I can to find the answer. Okay, so, and then in, in closing, I wish you all the luck. I know it's, it's a big thing because you're coming to high school, which is twice as, twice the size of the middle school you're coming from, and um, it, it could be challenging sometimes. And if you ask any senior, uh, their most challenging year in high school is ninth grade. So in ninth grade, it's gonna be tough, but I'm sure that you all will do well and work hard uh, to be the best that you can be. Take care. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Tyra Ruiz, and I am in 12th grade. I am the Class of 2021 historian. I'm a part of the speech and debate team here at Miramar, and I'm also a sassy sweetheart majorette, which is a part of the Miramar Soldier Band. So I've been at Miramar all four years and I absolutely love it. And this is because, you know, I've been very involved with the, all the extracurricular activities that they have there and things like that. Miramar, the most, my most favorite thing about Miramar High School would be its diversity, meaning that it's so welcoming to everyone that goes there. I remember my first day at Miramar High School, I was really lost and didn't know where to go, but a lot of administration, staff and students helped me out with everything. And this is because they're like a family to you. Once you get there, you're a part of them. You're, you're a patriot with us. So it's just a great family overall, and that's a great thing to have within a community. So that's why, to me, Miramar High School is the best high school because they're one big family and they cater to you. Hello, everyone. My name is Abdul Abraham, and I'm a rising senior at Miramar High School. I'm part of our school's football team, National Honor Society Club, and I'm the secretary of our Hosa club. Joining a team sport or a club can be very helpful, especially when trying to get acclimated into the way high school is ran. Being a part of sports can teach you many different things. Those things being work ethic, leadership, 
and time management. Time management was a big one for me because before I started playing football, I used to do homework the day they were due. I used to do projects the night before they were due. And that was really an issue. But after football, they really taught me how to prioritize what needed to be done first. And I'm thankful for that. And hopefully one day, when you come to Miramar, you'll be able to learn the same things that I learned. Pat game forever. Are we ready for our student expectations? Let's go. The Patriot student is passionate and proud. They express intense enthusiasm in all they do for their dreams and their future. This begins with setting goals and objectives to make their dreams a reality. The Patriot student is ambitious and accomplished. Our students are leaders in and out of the classroom and in the community. They are our future doctors, lawyers, pilots, nurses, industry leaders, world ambassadors, and entrepreneurs. The Patriot student is timely. This means getting to class on time and virtual participation in your classes as your teachers will be engaging in live lessons with live support. On time means following your new virtual bell schedule and on time when it is safe to do so on campus. On time means five minutes early. The Patriot student is responsible. They follow dress code virtually, read their messages on Remind and Canvas, and take care of their fellow classmates. They complete schoolwork while juggling extracurricular activities, part-time employment, and home responsibilities. One of your responsibilities will be to log on daily to Canvas on Clever with SSO.BrowardSchools.com. At Miramar High, we have a red and blue block schedule. This means red day is periods one, two, three, four, and blue day is periods five, six, seven, eight. Your virtual hours for school will be 8.30 a.m. to 3.10 p.m. The Patriot student is innovating. It amazes me how creative our students become when planning school and community projects, such as food drives and clothing drives, uh, spreading awareness on current social issues or appreciating the many cultures by celebrating our diversity with their many talents. Let's show your creativity and innovation in your schoolwork. The Patriot student is open-hearted and open-minded. They are kind, generous, sincere, and are receptive to new ideas and creative ways to solve world problems. Lastly, the Patriot student is thankful for the opportunities we offer here at Myramar High School. Every student that walks through our doors feels like they're home because we have something for everyone from academic programs to extracurricular activities. These attributes spell the word patriot, and we look forward to all of our students developing that patriot pride in their school and in all they do. As we prepare our future citizens of the world, we want you to reach out to someone when there's an issue, such as a teacher, counselor, coach or administrator. We pride ourselves in teaching students how to ask for help and how to resolve conflicts appropriately because we are a family and it takes a village to raise a child. I asked my daughter, who is a sophomore here, what makes Miramar High so special? With great affirmation, she stated, I love Miramar High because I know it is a safe place that brings out the best in me. I find it also a special place because I know I'm guaranteed to have a strong support system to keep me motivated. Thank you parents for choosing Miramar High as your new home and trusting us with your students and I wish you all a great school year. Welcome to your Canvas online classroom. Let's take a look around so you're familiar with where to find the things you want to do and access your important course information. When you first log in, you'll find yourself on the dashboard. This view will show you course cards for each of your current courses. The course cards show you the name of the course and the term. The icons also show you some information about what's in the course. For example, this one shows me there are course announcements and discussions. You can click on any card to enter the course and get to work. On the right side of the dashboard, you can see your to-do list. This will show you assignments, quizzes, and discussions that have a due date. 
It's important to remember that not every course activity will show on this list, just the items that have a due date set in Canvas. For this reason, you can't rely on this list to show you everything you need to do in your course. Be sure to read the syllabus and course materials carefully to find requirements that aren't set up with a due date in Canvas. When you find them, consider adding them to your course calendar yourself, as we'll see later. For example, the to-do list may show a quiz that needs to be taken, but you may still need to read a chapter or watch a video before you can complete the quiz. Scrolling down, you also have a coming up list. This will show you upcoming items from your Canvas calendar. There are some things that you can customize on the dashboard. You can click this menu button at the top right corner of the course card to give the course a custom nickname and color. Additionally, clicking on the Settings button above will allow you to change the dashboard from the course card view to Recent Activity. This view will show you a summary of recent assignment feedback, course announcements, discussion posts, and other course activity. Keep in mind that your dashboard doesn't show you all your Canvas courses, just your current active courses. To find other courses and set which ones will show on your dashboard, click the Courses icon on the left and click the All Courses link. This will show you all the courses you're in or ever have been in. Current courses are at the top and past enrollments are listed below. Click the star icon on the left to select which courses you want to show or remove from your dashboard view. The items in the blue bar on the left of the screen are your global navigation items. These items are part of Canvas, but not specific to any one course. Hello. I am Ms. Stumerville, and I am your Student Government Association Advisor. Student Government Association, also known as SGA, is our student body. The students involved cultivate an environment for our students on campus, and they represent the needs of our students. So not only are we technically a political organization, but we have a lot of fun. SGA is responsible for hosting spirit weeks, pep rallies, homecoming, you name it, we do it. High school is all about making your own memories. And in order to make your own memories, you kind of have to take the first step. So I'm here to encourage you to join a club or organization on campus. Joining clubs and organizations can really shift how your high school experience goes. By joining an organization, you can earn community service hours, which are needed for graduation, scholarships, and admission into universities. You'll be able to get involved on campus and within your community so you'll know what's going on. And most importantly, within these clubs and organizations, you will have so many memories made and you will make friends, okay? The next four years are really gonna be however you make it. And here at Miramar, there is something for everyone. If you like culinary, aviation, fashion, languages, anime, anything you can think of, there is a club or organization here at Miramar for you okay so we encourage you to join our clubs join our organizations and make the next four years your best four years if you need to find me i am at miss dumerville on twitter and you can find our sga at miramar high sga on twitter i hope to see you soon